Hi, my name is Blakesley Clapp, and I'm the director of the video program in the Integrated Media Department at Mount Hood Community College. On behalf of all of the creators tonight, I would like to welcome you to the 2020 film screening. With everything going on in the world right now, right outside our doorsteps, we know that this is an extremely challenging and difficult time for many, many people. That makes it even more special that you've taken the time to come out tonight and support some filmmakers who are just getting started. Making a film is a mind-bogglingly complex undertaking. From concept, to casting, to completion, it takes sometimes literal blood, lots of sweat, and a few tears to get it done. None of the people whose projects you see tonight could have done it alone. Their work could not have been possible without the support of many, many people. Support from family, friends, partners, cast, crew, teachers, and anyone who is willing to sit with them for a few minutes and listen to their ideas about a story. So we want to say a great, big, huge thank you to all the supporters out there. We are so excited for you to see the work of these filmmakers, who are, in alphabetical order of course, Mitchell Chipman, Chris Cummings, Cy Husing, Adam Lang, Tara Michael, Sky O'Rourke, Nicole Poltiski, Joaquin Solis, Jake Stevens, and Noelle Wilson. Just to note, some of these films do contain adult themes and language. The chat is open if you want to ask any of the directors questions, and there'll be more information after the screening about how to reach out to the filmmakers. Please enjoy the show. Did you have class today? Why are you skipping? We're not talking about me right now. You need to get over this. You need to get over this. Good job, Isaiah. You just predict sadness all over the globe. I loved her. You knew her for three weeks. You don't understand. She cheated on you. She didn't mean it. She didn't... She said it was an accident. Do you really believe that? I don't know what to believe. All I know is I ended it. You ended it? Then why are you about to text her back? I don't know. It's just too much. Well, I know one thing. It stinks in here. When was the last time you took a shower? Two weeks ago. Didn't you break up last week? Come on, man. Let's go. So you feeling better yet? Yeah, now I'm sad and cold. Uh-uh, no way. You are not gonna get back together with her. I wasn't. I was texting my mom where I'm at. Let me use your phone. Fine. Yeah, I'll be safe. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I got my jacket. Yeah, love you too. Mm-hmm. Okay, bye. Love you too. Bye. Mm. 
What are we doing at Michael's house? Plan B. Hey, Michael. Jesus, Isaiah, stop using that key. You know how I have laser focus. I have a doorbell for a reason. Well, you guys never answered the door, so I had to get my own. Anyways, we'll play that game to cheer Kevin up. That game? The cart racer for two people? Two people, Isaiah. Do the math. There's three of us. We'll take turns. But we never take turns. Come on. You know what happened. I see you. Fine. Hey. Really looks like he's enjoying himself. Come on, man. I'll help him. Yeah, like some dumb game is gonna help. Oh, my turn. Bruh. I'm just joking. You know how it gets. Don't make a big fuss over him. That's what friends do. We make fusses. Yeah. Let's go. Hey. You know, I'm sorry. I tried everything in the book to cheer you up, but... It's fine. I'll live. Yeah, you can actually die of heartbreak, but you should be fine. Remember what we always do? Where did you get those? We're adults, not fighting. Are they a coward? Not funny. I can play though if you want, Isaiah. You know, if, if he doesn't want to. Kevin the Brave? More like Kevin the Chicken. Isaiah the Cunning. Ready to lose another, huh? Not today. I see. Guys, I think I'm going to be the king. Yeah, whatever makes you happy. Well, anyways, fight to the death. Sure, I'll win this one. Sure, you will. My turn. Gotta expect the unexpected. <sighs> Dead people usually fall over. The ground's gross. Sue me. As declared by the king, Sir Kevin is champion. I have bested you. Well done, Sir Kevin the Brave. You're truly the better knight. But I gotta say, that wasn't too fair. You do credit your win to me. I would've won anyways. Sure you would've. I'll get you that new phone soon too. It's fine, I'll do better with that one for a bit. Let's go home. It's starting to rain. Play some view games. Take turns? Yeah, definitely. I never got to duel you.
Do you know why I stopped you? No clue, officer. You were going nearly 65 in a 20. Now, ordinarily, I would let this go, except today I... Is that an avocado from Mexico? Oh, this? Why, yes, actually, it is an avocado from Mexico. How about you and I reach an agreement? I'll tear this ticket up if you give me that avocado. No, thank you. I think I'll keep my avocado. Avocados from Mexico. Is your food having a hard time coming off of your pan? No matter how much oil you put, it just keeps on sticking? Hi, I'm Jeremy Riker, and today I'm going to show you the Oil Slick Non-Stick Frying Pan. As you can see, there is no added oil or spray. There's no need. The Oil Slick Non-Stick won't stick to any food you put in it. You see, the stainless steel and aluminum mixture is what makes the pan non-stick. Eggs are one of the most annoying foods to fry. Half of it just sticks onto it. Let me show you how well the oil slick non-stick works with eggs. Mmm, man. Listen to that sizzle. Okay, <laughs> let's try that again. <laughs> These silly eggs. They were working last night. These eggs must be bad. See, who needs a spatula anyway? I'm gonna add some salt. And pepper. Then, flip the egg with just the frying pan alone. And we'll be right back. All right, welcome back. Today we're gonna have an audience member come on and try out the oil slick non-stick. All right, welcome back. Today we're gonna have an audience member come on and try out the oil slick non-stick. Come on, Jeremy. You can do this. All right, we're back. Today we're going to have an audience... Get out. All right, we're back. Today we're going to have an audience member come on and try out the oil slick non-stick. Hey, you. Come on down. Hello. Hope you're ready to fry some eggs. Yeah, okay, I've uh, fried an egg once or twice before. What do you think of the oil slick non-stick so far? Well, uh, what happened before All the right, I think the oil slick non-stick is heated up. Why don't you crack one of them eggs, kiddo? I'm pretty sure you're not my dad, but okay. <laughs> Ooh, wow, listen to that sizzle. Okay then, why don't you try flipping it now? <sighs> Look, man, you know this product sh I'm not sure what you're saying. The oil slick non-stick is the best pan out there. Why are you still trying to sell us this, this, this sh I mean, you know it's not gonna work. It's clearly not working. Oh my God. Okay, break. 
I look like an idiot. No one is going to respect me anymore. Those people out there, they, look, look at, I mean, what is this? Who's, whose idea was this? This is our idea. You have to remember, we are in a partnership right now. Yes, you I didn't invent that shitty pan. It's not that shitty. Everything it's worth sticks being, to it. No, it's worth being sold. You need to get your head in the game. I, 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 I'm trying, no, but. No, keep your attitude better. I, I believed in you. That's why I hired you for this. This is what you are made for this job, and you're losing faith. You're doing great. You just, you just need to try and stay calm. I need my lines. Sorry about that, everyone. We're back again. You know, this is still the best frying pan out there, despite everything that's happened today. These stoves have been pretty tricky with me. You know what? I'm tired of this. I've tried multiple times today trying to save this stupid product. It's shit! Even the audience members said it was shit! I'm not getting paid enough for this. And I'm not gonna keep wasting my time looking like a Are you going to be able to make rent? I already spent all of my emergency funds, so I can't help. 
I did some looking online and even with extensive plasma donations for the rest of the month, I'm not sure I can make it. Jesus Christ, man. There's no reason for it to come to that. Listen, I might know some people. I'm not selling drugs. Okay. I don't ask people now. I got it. Uh, my old buddy. He goes by contact. You don't even know his name? I don't know if it's a nickname or if his parents were high, but <laughs> he's never gotten by anything else. Trust me, you need money quick. He is your best bet. I'll just sell a fucking kidney. Fine, I'll meet your guy. What white collar options do you have? What white collar options do I have? Please just give him something less morally questionable. I have to think. I might have found somebody. Um, you know, you know what? He's pitching some kind of get rich quick scheme. Personally, I wouldn't bother. Well, when can we meet? In the flesh. So I hear you've got a moment to see my proposition. Shoot. Have you ever heard of a pyramid scheme before? I heard how they're an unintuitive scam. You know why they were made illegal? Because... Because with market saturation, they quickly become unsustainable. When they do, the people at the top who made their promises of riches quickly vanish off the map. Are you serious? I'm at the top. You know my name. What if I told you all I needed was a slight cash advance and I would find people to recruit? I'm prepared to make other assurances, just name them. We can be in touch. Think it through, give me a call. I'm a busy guy. Hey, wait a minute. I don't have to talk this through now. Tomorrow, maybe. How much do you need? 260, 280, and 300. <laughs> he scammed me. It's not my fault. Hell, I even warned you. Jesus fuck, you don't think I know that? We would like to know where we can find this guy. Donovan. It's Donovan Echoes. I might be able to find him. It won't be easy though. How long is it going to take? Alright, here's the address. You owe me a pack of gum. No, I don't. So, what's the plan? I'm getting my thousand back one way or another. So you don't have one. Louder? Who the hell are you? We're uh, friends of his. Um, we're just trying to have a word with him. 
what did he do this time? He has something of mine. Did he take it? Did he steal it? No, no, it's nothing like that. It's just uh, something that he borrowed. Do you have any idea when he might be back or where he is? He follows his own agenda. I don't know where he is. Well, where does he normally hang out? Local diners, bars. Ryan Helma! I'm getting my own place now! Don't ever fucking come back! So this is what I get for helping you? <sighs> that car was brand new. Do you have any idea how long I saved for? Sorry. I call us an Uber, but we're pretty light on cash at the moment. Have fun walking. I know you owe me a car, right? No, I don't. I'll be out in no time. And then you'll see just how much hell I can wreak on your life, you vicious little bitch. Good morning. 
Morning. You were almost late. After being gone the last couple days, that would have been bad. Okay, uh, good to see you too. Good morning. Hey. I was just doing some stretches. You know, I get so stiff sitting in this chair all day. I haven't seen you the last couple of days. Are you okay? I'm good, yeah. You sure? How can I not be? It's casual Friday. Hell yeah. How are you doing? I'm great. Nice. Bam. Let's have a meeting in the conference room now. Good morning to you too. How are things going? I'm good. Well, I think you're doing a really good job here. But there are a few things that I do want to talk to you about. Uh, what's going on? Well, I think you are phenomenal with the customers. You bring the most business in and they mm -hmm. love you. Mm -hmm. But I think you spend too much time with the customers. The faster that we get customers in and out, the more money we make. Is there a problem? Do you not agree with me? I mean, we are in the business of making money, aren't we? Were you going to say something? Come on. Tell me how you're feeling. It's okay. I'm here for you and I want the best for you. You want to know how I really feel? Of course. There's a reason why I bring in the most business. I put customers first. I make sure they don't feel like just a dollar sign walking into another business that only cares about their money. Well, if you- No, 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 you had your turn to talk. Now it's mine. Don't you disrespect Shh. me. Be quiet. You see, myself and many others who have been working here for a long time without a single raise and barely making above minimum wage, while you and everyone above you is making a ton of money off our hard work. My pay is absolutely uh -uh. none of I'm not done yet. Shut up. You see, all this is just a means to an end. If you're not having fun and treating people with dignity and respect and paying them a livable wage. I mean, look, you're so damn cheap that you don't even buy anything to decorate the walls. You do realize that I could have another one of you tomorrow. You're very expendable. What is it that you want? It's not about what I want. It's about what I'm about to do. I quit. Fuck you and this company. So, do you think you can spend less time with customers and speed up your turnaround rate? Yeah. All right. Good. I'm glad you realize that this is just a win-win for all of us. Just like where I'm eating my lunch today, let's get these customers in and out. Having a bad day, huh? You know what? I'm calling security. No, you're not. Get your hand off of me. <laughs> Just ignore her. Get out of here, go, go. You're awesome, never change.
My name is Dan Clements. And I'm Ray Gadomsky. And we, we own, own Cinnable Sweets, Sweets, a dietetic bakery. What is it? Yeah. Normally it's built for a powder cream. Ours is built with the top like on the, uh, but that's oh. only 100 calories for the entire thing. Really? Yes. Yeah, definitely. We're in Mount Angel. It's a town of about 3,500 people in population. The reason why we were interested in getting to a dietetic bakery is in 2004, I had gastric bypass. I was 518 pounds before surgery. And I decided right then and there, I didn't need the sugar. We have been truly blessed lucky with having customers find us a perfect example, the current keto diets. We have a couple of items that are just spot on, best thing you can do on keto diets. We're working very hard, not only to try to grow the business, but to grow the people who work at the business too. <laughs> to my favorite place. Welcome to the Green State. We pride ourselves on how devoted to nature we are. Come visit and you will become aware of how truly majestic hiking and exploring the great outdoors can be. Truly majestic. Along with locally sourced food and restaurants that line our streets, we promote the green way of getting to and fro. Bikes! Alright, so our next destination is about five miles away. Well, there's a city bike place right around the corner. We haven't done that before. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Darn it, there's no bikes. I, I really wanted to see Portland on a bike. A cab's on its way. <laughs> Very eco-friendly. Yeah. Another perk is how amazing our locally roasted coffee is. It's nice and cozy in here. Cozy? Like for your coffee. What? So much joy. Come travel Oregon. It's the bee's knees. Every man is guilty of all the good he did not do. Hey, big man. <laughs> this ain't your business, Gran Torino. Oh shit, I haven't even started and you're already bleeding. You prove every day that you're no man. You touch her, and I'll kill you.
Playtime's over. So beautiful up here, huh? Fresh air and quiet will definitely do us some good. I'm gonna start dinner. I was just thinking about all the memories we had up here with dad. Remember that uh, husky toy, the stuffed one? He left it on top of the wood stove like a dumbass and it melted. We were so upset. Dad drove the whole hour and 45 minutes to buy you a new one. Or when... Kay. Kay. Hey. Hey, come on. We're gonna go walk Dad's trail. Really? Yes. Come on, it'll be fun. That's weird. What is it? <clears throat> Ready for lunch?
So we're not creeped out by that weird stick thing. It's just kids messing around. Probably just one of the neighbors. Kids make it freakier, and the neighbors are miles apart. I wouldn't pay attention to a clump of sticks, but if you want to worry about it, by all means. Well, you're the queen of ignoring everything. What's that supposed to mean? You forced me to come up here with this idea of us joyfully reminiscing our childhood with Dad and completely ignore the fact that Shut he... up. At least I'm trying to be okay without the need for medication. Fuck off. They found it. Eat. 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 I'm alone. No. Don't smile. That'll catch you. Shh. There's nothing out here. I'm going back to bed. about I just saw you outside and you ran off into the woods okay are you sure you're taking your pills right are you fucking kidding me weird things have been happening all weekend okay you heard it last night it's not just me it sounded like someone was upset we have neighbors Kay Look, hallucinations are a common side effect. Will you ever right? stop ignoring everything around you and making up excuses? Okay, maybe if you didn't, Dad would still be here. Oh. Now tell me how you really feel. Look at me. Do not speak. It'll 
catch you. Nina? Don't touch the dark. Nina? It'll smell you. Nina? Don't be afraid or it'll see Nina, you. Nina, wake up. Let her in. Nina, wake up. I'm leaving. Right now. So that's the end of our 2020 show. We really hope you enjoyed what you saw here tonight. If you'd like to speak with any of the directors more about their work, there's a film screening questionnaire available in the description below that will let you reach out to the filmmakers. And if you did enjoy what you saw tonight and would like to see more work from the integrated media students, they're having an online portfolio show tomorrow, June 10th, and Thursday, June 11th. There'll be a live portion each night that starts at 6 p.m. And again, for information about how to log on to that show, look in the description below. Again, thank you so much for taking the time to come together with us in this virtual world to watch our films. Have a great night and stay safe.